20 years ago today, the Vermont base the Vermont-based band Fish performed their infamous show in Coventry. At the time, the group said it would be their last performance, and that drew fans from around the country to the Green Mountain State. But things looked and took a turn rather after torrential rain in the weeks leading up to the show. Thousands of people were in standstill traffic for days on I-91. And now two decades later, we're getting an up-close look at what that time was like. NBC5's Anna Goober joins us live in studio now with more on this, Anna. Yeah, Lauren, Alex Daltis is one of the fans who spent two days on the interstate waiting to get into the festival. Take a look at what that looked like just 20 years ago. He brought his camera with him when he flew across the country to see the band play, but he never expected that most of his footage would be used during the journey getting there. And now he's sharing some of that footage he shot and conversations he's had with people over the years in a documentary he calls Jam. It was just such a, such an impactful once in a lifetime thing where you just see the true love for a band really get proven. That's how Alex Saltis describes a journey that began on August 13th, 2004, when he and Fish fans from around the country flocked to Vermont for what was supposed to be the band's last ever performance. You know, people say they love something, but like it's when you, sac you make these sacrifices for it that like it really, sh I mean, it, it shows. You see all those tens of thousands of cars, you know, on the, on the freeway and you know, there it is, so. Daltis was a recent film school graduate and with his video camera in hand, he flew from Los Angeles to capture as much as he could of his favorite band's last show. But he says he ended up using most of the film on the people he met along the way. I was just sticking my camera in people's faces, you know, like the whole time and and they were all cool about it. But torrential rain in the weeks leading up to the show washed out the roads and the farm where the band was set to perform, leaving Daltis and tens of thousands of fans in a standstill on Interstate 91. For a while there, um, you know, we're just like, yeah, this is messed up. And so we, start, we all started taking bets and, hey, when do you think we're getting in? You know, all right, you call it, you know. <laughs> but nobody, nobody really... Uh, anticipated it would take that long. No one expected to be stuck for days or eventually be told by the band and state police to turn around. We made an announcement over the radio um, asking people to please turn around and not to continue to uh, try to come to the concert. Yeah, that 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 emotional roller coaster definitely peaked with with the announcement for for sure. Daltis and thousands of fellow fans were determined to make it in, leaving their cars behind and walking miles to see Fish perform. I talked to a lot of people that that walked in, you know, that had to they had to park their car on Interstate 91 and and walk eight or ten miles to to get there, lugging all their lugging all their stuff on their back. Today, Matt Maxwell is the town administrator in Coventry. But back in 2004, he was a 24-year-old whose family owned the farm that hosted the Coventry concert. He says he watched in awe of the thousands of people pouring onto the farm with their belongings on their backs and smiles on their faces. You'd think those people would have been, you know, disgruntled or whatever, but they were, they were, you know, they were happy to be there. Now, as they recall the 2004 I-91 backup, Daltis says people like Maxwell and Melendi and all of the fans who hit the road to Coventry have allowed him to paint a greater picture of how much fish means to their fans and the resilience they showed during Vermont's greatest traffic jam. And you can watch the documentary by purchasing or renting it on Vimeo. Anna Goober, NBC5 News.